So let's talk about the ZK EVM. I had a conversation with Professor Silvio McCalley of Algorand. I don't know if it's a competitor or not, one of the L1s, who I think, I think he came up with the concept of zero knowledge. He was explaining to me a little bit of the logic behind it. But for people that don't understand, what is ZK and why is it such an important component of Polygon's future? Why is it a game changer? Why is it going to scale massively? Yeah, so for ZK, uh, the the technology wise, like it's a very, in a way, it's a very simple concept, right? So right now, like cryptographically, first I'll explain cryptographically and then I'll explain why it is so important for blockchain scaling, right? So cryptographically, uh, you know, when you, uh, what ZK does is that, uh, let's say you had few secrets, right? I mean, you have two or you have one secret, uh, that you wanted to share with me and that secret is not only a, like i'm not even going into the privacy way let's say you wanted to you and me wanted to trust each other that you know you executed something that means you executed a business contract as per the contract details like what we both agreed and then uh instead you gave me that inputs and the output and you said that sandeep i have executed it exactly the way we discussed originally and you will give me the inputs and output and also give me a proof that see this is the proof i executed and imagine you had to do a large computation with that like you know you had to do 10 days of work to to arrive at the output for me if we are using zk i can simply take your inputs and output and take the proof that you are providing me and put it in my system and my system will say no this was executed perfectly by brian i don't even have to execute it fully I don't even have to know actually that how you computed it, but I know that you you agreed upon this particular, this is how you're going to agree it in a verifier contract and you executed it according to that, right? So like, let's see, let's say how, like, let's say Facebook example, let's take example of Facebook only that, you know, where we, uh, and it's a vague example, but uh, let's say you have your news uh, or, or news feed on Facebook, right? And this was like alleged that, around Cambridge Analytica and all that, they were changing the news feed, you know, as per a particular uh, political opinion or whatever. But in this kind of scenario, Facebook can commit that this is how I compute your news feed. Okay. And this is your news news feed. And these are the comments out public comments that, you know, they, they or the, the feed that has come post that have come to me. And this is your news feed, right? And and but Facebook being Facebook, they don't want to show you the proprietary logic that how do they do it? They do it, but they can still prove that okay, considering these posts and this is your news feed that you are seeing, you can. This is the proof. Check it. You can be hundred percent sure that I did it the way I committed at the time of launching my product. Right. right? Now, why it is so important, especially for the layer two scaling? See what you are saying at Ethereum is that okay, you, you build this layer two machine which can compute some code like layer two what is layer two at the end of the day what we are doing is we are saying that okay instead of we doing our transaction we computing our business logic on ethereum you will compute it on layer two somewhere else layer two whatever name is doesn't matter you will compute it off chain apart from ethereum but you will do it in a way that you should be able to it is layer two it is called layer two and you can say that this is deriving properties or security from ethereum when you can still be able to prove to ethereum that you executed the way you committed, right? This is exactly what people are using zero knowledge technology for scaling. So what we do is that you have Ethereum and you have a verifier contract here, right? And you have a layer two chain, which which is which is connected to this verifier contract. And the layer two chain computes massive amount of logic. Like people are selling hundreds of uh, NFTs, buying, selling, you know, and DeFi protocols are happening and all that. And this chain, this layer two chain, frequently is giving one simple proof and that proof you can bring on it, submitting to Ethereum and that proof goes to this Ethereum verifier contracts. And if it's verified correctly, it's called validity proof in technical terms. If it is verified correctly, Ethereum is hundred percent sure that whoever computed it, considering these were the transactions from the users and this is the output of the state, there's something called state, everything is correct. So that way, you have off-chain computation. Imagine how much massive computation you can have on the off-chain. You can do build big apps on blockchain while still be able to completely confirm them back on Ethereum without running them on Ethereum, everything, right? That is how people are using it. And that's why this is the biggest technology. Like, 
like you you would ask that okay before zk what was being used right before zk in 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 the for the ethereum scaling we had this optimistic rollups in right. optimistic rollups what you do is there is no cryptography being used what they do in optimistic roller what they do is they submit all the transactions that are happening to the this one and uh, the transaction actual this thing and uh, they will submit all the proofs that this is what we calculated and then if somebody does wrong on the optimistic roller the way to solve that is that somebody they, they are assuming that in the public in the community somebody is watching all the transactions and actually running it somewhere right they don't have, they are not solving it cryptographically but somebody should be running it somewhere and if they find some mistake or some fraud that has happened like this was the transaction but you know $1000 deducted from my account instead of $100 they will immediately run a fraud proof that's why they are called fraud proofs versus zk rollup called being called validity proofs but the, the that's why like you might have interacted with optimistic rollups they have a 7 day withdrawal period right, right? why because you have to give time to the community that in 7 days somebody will figure out that there something happened wrong right. and that's why they are called optimistic because they are assuming everything is happening correctly but putting everything back on ethereum and then somebody if somebody finds an error they will challenge and if their challenge is proven those people will be slashed whoever are running the chain but in case of zk you don't need all of this that's why in zk the exit times are 10 minutes whereas in optimistic rolls you have a 7 day withdrawal period okay. because of this problem only and since they have to prove everything back on an on ethereum they have to put all the data also back on ethereum which means that if you had 10 transactions on optimistic roll up you will submit 10 transaction data if you have 1000 transaction you have to submit 1000 transactions back on ethereum of course in a minified way but you do not achieve any economies of scale as the transactions your your chain is growing you have to put more and more transaction back on ethereum which is very costly as you have to pay transaction fees in case of zk because there is a verifier contract you don't even need to save all the transaction data here you can keep it somewhere else because the operator cannot do anything with that so that is why it's a very uh, fundamental technology and i was telling you that originally that you know we see the way like okay this is how it can be done you build these pos chains and you know prove everything back on ethereum that can provide like that can easily take us from this today's scalability that we have for 5 10 million daily active users we can easily take it to 100 million users in in coming two years that's what i was saying that we clearly see that path the greedy bankers are about to do it again in 2008 they crashed our financial system and nearly bankrupted the entire global economy then they received trillions of dollars in government bailouts and after they demanded fat bonuses paid for by you the taxpayer well, it turns out the banks haven't just been screwing the american taxpayers they're also screwing over their investors turns out uh, the banking industry is the worst place you could put your money despite enormous taxpayer bailouts now the bankers are back to take away your financial freedom they lie and tell you that cryptocurrency isn't safe. They try to make it illegal for you to choose how to invest your hard-earned money. They lie and say cryptocurrency is used by money launderers and criminals. But look at the record. It's the banks themselves that launder hundreds of billions of dollars every year to the biggest criminal operations in the world. Leaked documents have revealed how some UK banks have helped criminals, money launderers and Russians under sanctions. American authorities discovered that the Sinaloa cartel moved 881 million dollars through HSBC accounts as bank officials turned a blind eye to the illegality. The bankers lie and say cryptocurrency is not a real investment. Meanwhile, the smartest CEOs in the world are buying billions and billions of it. The truth is that banks lie about cryptocurrency because it makes them scared. The banks take 9 trillion dollars per year of your hard-earned money and they are worried that they will finally be exposed. They're scared because crypto means they can no longer control your money, which means they can no longer control you. They are scared because you might actually understand your money and intelligently decide what to do with it. Now is the time for us to come together, fight back and take control. 
it's time to educate ourselves, our families, and our communities. Because financial education means financial freedom. We know that cryptocurrencies will help us build the new decentralized financial system of the future. A banking system that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. A banking system where access to finance is a fundamental human right. A banking system that is free and fair and welcomes all humans on this earth. The DeFi revolution is happening. We, the people, can no longer be fooled. We choose to take control of our finances. We choose to take control of our freedom. We choose to take control of our future. Join us and let's take back our financial freedom forever.